Welcome to the Empire Pits Rampant, and welcome back to my Byzantine Empire campaign for the Medieval Kingdom's 1212 mod for Attila Total Wall. Where this is the second time I've had to record this video, where the first one, uh, it had no video. It had audio, no video. Um, so now we have to redo this. Where I, if anything at all, I get to avoid trying to have a civil war pop up. Um, I accidentally, because if I if I check that like right now, literally we can see where we're going to be continuing from where we left off last time. Where at this point in time, we are preparing for the inevitable full-scale invasion of England and the English in general. Where at the moment right now, there are uh, seven, yeah, seven regions down here in Iberia that we're going to have to try and hit. And in the meantime, we're going to start trying to just take out other tiny little territories that are not affiliated. And uh, see if we can basically have it. I want to try and take uh, province and then also uh, Vienna today, basically. Those will be the two things that I'm going to be trying to focus on. I do believe, um, let's see, so, yeah, you guys are at war with the Duchy of Lorraine, so I don't think you guys will survive long enough for me to be able to get to you, uh, that's kind of what happened when I was trying to do this, uh, before, um, uh, where they, they killed them before I could even do that, uh, all of this is good for right now, it seems like, because if I remember correctly, I did do, well, Granada right now, um, I did go through initially and do some construction, uh, before we ended the video last time, I will upgrade this that we already just did. You are currently at, um, yeah, we have enough food for that. Because basically, we're getting very close to finishing this campaign up. I already have the intro and the thumbnail available for, uh, my Teutonic Order campaign. So we will most certainly be starting that as soon as we finish this campaign. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try and have it so... I want to try and see if I can convince my allies to try and start fighting people for me and basically have it so that we'll be going about, I'm going to bring you over here towards Graz basically, um, I'm going to try and have it so we can convince Serbia to maybe go to war with Austria. Uh, you can do that. This army right here, because you guys will be ready around here pretty soon, like honestly I don't need to really keep you around here. I'm going to have you move out, do I want to do it this turn? I think I can do it this turn. I think Verona's... Yeah, Verona's is happy enough. I, I don't need you guys to stay here. So you guys will start making your way over. Just make sure you don't take attrition. And then basically, I'll have you guys try and strike at this city. Uh, probably to, uh, next turn, basically. Because you can take that. I don't... Do I have any deals with them? I don't believe I did. Um, so you guys here... No. I no deals with you. Although I should remember to, to uh, get rid of my deals with Austria. So you guys, let's break my trade agreement with you guys, and then also my non-aggression pact with you guys, and then I'll see, um, because you guys are currently at war with the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, I'll just see if, uh, their, uh, my allies are going to be trying to attack you guys. Um, it'd be great if they did, because for right now, we're just, we just have a lot of stuff to, like, do to prepare for our war with, uh, the English, because right now, basically, once we get, it's 32 turns. 32 turns, and then I will be able to finally annex you. And once I'm able to do that, that is when we finally start trying to properly go after the English. Now, I do need to make sure, so what we're going to do is I do want to try and have it so I need to uh, see if I can get some people to be ranked up and be put over here. So let's go check and see if there's some generals. I'm just going to do, I don't want to do too many at a time, but we want to try and grab a couple more generals, a couple more um, governors and put them on here. Uh, this is the governor one, so I can try and have you. We're going to try and rank up there. Um, this is for the military stuff, so I'll have you try and go up here. And then I'll try and add two guys, so you're governor. I'm going to have you try and go for here. And then this is a statesman. That's me. Um, let's see. You are a statesman. That's my heir. You're a general, so I'll put you here. And I think I'm just going to do just that for right now. Don't want to do it too much. And then for the most part right now, everybody's doing pretty good. Um, I do want to try and have it so there are some people with, uh, like, you're somebody that I'm going to definitely have to try and have it so you use up more of your points. Um, especially, like, to try and... I need to get control up, and then also I need to try and see if maybe we can just do secure loyalty. Because a lot of these guys are pretty low. So let's try and do a bunch of secure loyalty. I'll go through that. I want to just have it so that anybody that's around four... I'm going to try and do secure loyalty on. Alrighty. Serbia is now at war with Celestia. Thank you. That is what I want. Uh, we've got a population surplus right down here. I'm going to need you guys. Uh, I want to grab... I'm going to just be grabbing... Where was it? It was the... 
because I don't have enough food for stuff right Yeah, I don't have enough food for anything. So we'll just be getting the basic mustard grounds. That's what we'll be trying to grab around here. Um, and then, buildings, let's see, that's level two. Do we have enough food? I, oh yeah, Verona, we definitely should. Although actually, uh, let's see, did all my stuff go through? Desperate measures. Uh, castrate all of you fuckers. I don't want to have any possibilities of rebellion with you guys. Yep, castrate him too. Again, I want to make sure that we're going to have everybody at least around six to seven, bare minimum. So if you guys are lower than that, we're going to want to keep doing um, more securing loyalty. Let's so keep trying to do that. It's a good use of all of the points we have. So I just castrated three guys in a row. Um, we'll use some, some political favors there to get you guys into position. There, there, and... Let's see, so there we go. So, oh my god, so many loyalty. So, off secured, loyalty secured. Unforeseen complications. Okay, so my control went down a little bit. Went down a little bit there. Lots of power is okay, though. Um, but there we go. So, yeah, all that's good. And then I just want to double check that you guys are still doing okay for... Yeah, so everyone's doing okay. Because I know you guys can really get pissed off if I try and put anybody above others. You, you're not even married into the family, so I don't care if you're disloyal. Yeah, it looks like everybody is okay. So as long as everyone's okay, I can keep trying to... Probably should try and improve my... Like, who's got a ton? Like, if someone has a ton, I kind of want them to be the ones that will try and gather support to get us a little bit more control. You've got, like, 80. You've got, like, 300. You've got 500. Yeah, let's have you gather some support. So you try and gather support here for us. I'll just do the one for right now. Going back then over here, let's see. So uh, that's level three. We definitely have enough food to upgrade that again as well. Uh, Biskra, you guys down here, I think have enough food. Yeah, you do. You have enough food for that. Also, Public Order is doing well enough. I can now move these guys. So I'm going to start trying to move you over this way. This area is definitely happy enough. So start moving all of my priests over here and here to start trying to convert everything else um, in Africa. And then baths, we have to move you to that as well. There we go. And then this priest, you're supposed to move over here as well. Um, so there's that. And I only finished those four things right now this turn. So that's fine. Because basically for right now, these armies will just be chilling around here. I do think I'm going to grab... I'm going to put more guns or more cannons into some of my armies. Like, let's see, can you move out of Valencia? Yes, you can. So I'm going to take you over here. I'm going to send you over this way. I'll have you get rid of some of your guns, and then I'll have you just get more cannons. That way, it's going to be easier for me to try and take these territories, because I'll just have more cannons. I'll get the culverins, because those ones are just better for open field battles, I would say. Because right now, I've got uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got, I have, like, nine armies down here. I don't need nine armies. So eventually, I want to try and send you guys forward. I just need these areas to convert a little bit more, and then I can finally do that. Also, I don't want to forget, I do now have this, so we're going to now attack you guys, as uh, you don't have a chance against us. Not with what you guys have. So, you guys have a decent amount of reinforcements. The in the guys inside will be okay. Um, now, let me just remind myself. So, given the orientation, the reinforcements that they have coming in around onside the map, they're going to be kind of like to the northeast of us, because I can easily have my cav, you guys. You can easily go kill them off, while the rest of my army is going to be pushing in straight into this city. And they will be the ones that will focus on getting rid of everybody. Because I can easily have my cannons. They're going to take out a good chunk of the enemy army just by destroying the walls and everything. So it should be... Enemy reinforcements should be, like, around here. I actually could have use... You know what? Let me use my infantry and my... Actually, I'm going to just use my entire army to kill those reinforcements. Because they should be, like, around up here, given the orientation of how I was attacking them. So as long as we push on in... Uh, or, like, just leave my cannons down here, let them destroy the walls. I can have my army up here, focus down these, uh, the reinforcements. That's the, the right, the right hands. Because I want to see if I can fully kill them off. That way they don't get to survive after that. And I'll be able to try and have it so we can just kill these guys off in one turn. And then, just start building this area up. Then I'll start trying to move my guys over to start trying to get ready to take out, um... Vienna. If I can take out Vienna, that'd be great. I'd love to be able to, like, lure them out of the city if possible, to kind of, because they have so many armies around there. But if anything at all right now, I know uh, Serbia is at least with a war with Celestia. Like, that's a faction I definitely want to die, and I don't have to fight them. So hopefully they'll get rid of them without my intervention. So for right now, let's see, so 
Put my cannons. So about here. Put them about there. And then I'll have my infantry. So it should be about... I think it's going to be about here. So about there. And I'll move you guys, uh, give you some more space. That way I can put my guns down and have you guys be able to shoot straight on into these units. So there, 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 there. Because I'm expecting them to all be around here. This way, I just want to slaughter this army before they can even get on the map. It's like right there, there, there. All of my cav back here. Start the battle. Because I'm assuming this is where they're going to come from. You guys need to break down towers and the walls. Come on, where's your reinforcements? They are... Ah, oh, they're right over there. Okay. Well, if you guys just rotate like that, and you guys rotate like so. Okay. Cav. Let's have you guys go over this way. Try and see if we can intercept them. I don't know if we'll be able to, though. We'll see. So if you guys can just reposition, try and see if we can maybe single out their cav before they get back to... Or actually, I'm going to have to single out their cav. Because they might go try and get rid of my cannons. So like, let's have you guys keep rushing on up here. Go, 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 go. Yeah, some of them are making their way over this way. Okay, so I'm gonna have... You guys should be okay. So let's have, like, you three come here. You guys go for this one. Actually, he's running straight at us. Slaughter this cav unit. Oh, there we go. Let's see. One tower is down. Both towers are down. Okay, one of you focus the gate. When he focuses these walls. And then, let's see, cavalry. Some of you guys are taking some shots. Okay, infantry. I'm just going to have you guys run at them. Just just run straight at them. And then my guns. I wasn't going to have you guys try and like, unload into them, but for right now, just kind of adjust here. Okay, that one unit's dead. You guys just need to keep focusing this guy down. Guns will try and adjust to you guys to be able to kind of get up and around here just to hopefully unload into some of the infantry. Because my guys go there. You guys are there. And I go over here as well. You go for these guys. Because I'll have my cab go after them in a second once they're done with these guys. You guys do not want to stay here in melee. I'm going to pull you guys out. Try and get away from the infantry. My guns now free the open fire into these guys. So yeah, open fire there, start focusing them. If the general's bodyguard follows, I'll kill him. Infantry right now, yeah, I did a little more damage than I would like. You guys have been able to get into melee with some of these units. Number-wise, let's see, so we almost outnumber them. There's about a 400-man difference now. Focus on the general's bodyguard. This guy's being unloaded on by my guns, so keep focusing on them. Gates have been destroyed, so that was what you were targeting. Uh, now focus over on this gate, because I'll basically try and break this, 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 this. He's dead now. Perfect. So finish him off for good. And then, Cav for now, focus on these skirmishers. I'm going to ignore these infantry units, and I'm just going to let my guns focus them down. You can easily take those guys out. So if I just go like this, you'll be able to take them out. Um, over here, you guys might be able to catch that unit, but I'm going to have my Cav try and go after them to finish them off. Alrighty, I've done enough damage to the walls. I'm now going to start trying to rush on in with my forces. So, Cav, I'm trying to have you guys join on in and support this section. Because these guys are going to be able to try and fight through here the best they can. Uh, guns, I'm going to need you to try and make your way over here. I'm trying to be able to get on in there and start firing on into people. Because my Cav for right now, number-wise, let's see. We do outnumber them. And they are taking more casualties than we are. So, Cav, focus on their cavalry. Let's try and see if we can shock them. Make it a bit easier for us to push in here. But basically, I'm going to try and get my guns line up here. And try and have you guys help support from the sides. This area is struggling a little bit. Because I think it's because those skirmishers are being able to fire on into you. Uh, these units are doing well enough. I just want to try and get, like... You, know, like you there. Because I think I want to try and focus this section first. Like, if one of you here start firing into this area... Cavalry. This number wise, yeah, they're they're losing men faster than we are. Just these cabins are pretty decent, so you will be a bit of an issue. Cannons. I'm trying to see if I can break this. So if I can have you break this section, then I might be able to just like try and redirect some of my can. Oh, you guys are the worst one. Uh, redirect some of my guns to go over there to try and help out. 
as for right now. Yeah, you guys are making your way on in. Uh, actually, trying to stand here where you're at right now. I'm just trying to shoot. There you go. Because they have some men walking through here, so I want to just try and see if we can avoid that. Just try and fire into these guys right now. Um, right, so we do that. Yeah, you guys are... You're actually about to kill one of the general's bodyguards. He's almost dead. You just try and just stand here where you are and just keep firing into these guys. I need you to just stay... Like, over here. And then I can maybe try and fire into this section. Okay, I've almost broken through this section. Guns have adjusted you guys, because they are starting to push on into you. You're getting some good shots into the general's bodyguard right now, at this point in time. Uh, I do need... I'm gonna have you guys pull back, actually. I, I don't want to risk you guys being killed. So, you guys are low enough, just go, go pull back. And then, uh, same thing's gonna be with those guys. You guys are almost here, are almost done with them. Yep, there we go, you've broken through them now. Let's have my calf keep pushing in this way. The rest of my infantry, around here, you guys need to basically keep pushing over this way. Because now that I've got this section under my control, I'm going to adjust my um, guns, try and get them up on the wall section here, to be able to kind of shoot down into these guys. It's a cab, you can try and focus on the cavalry they've got around here. Number-wise, I have about a 400-man lead right now. Hopefully that one swordsman survives. Yeah, you guys just kind of pull back for right now. And I don't even need to try and break the section down now here. But yeah, Cav, we'll just keep you pushing through this way. And then I'm going to try and get my guns here, here. Uh, make sure you're going through the right way. Uh, about here and about here. So if you guys can do that... Then you can very easily give some support. So, keep trying to make your way on it up there. Infantry's gonna try and see if they can finish off the general, or one of the generals. Because they had, like, they had two generals, and then the captain. And I've already taken out at least one general. So, Cav, let's keep just trying to push you guys this way. I'm gonna try and get rid of this archer, and then I think I'm gonna start trying to move away to the city center. Because number-wise... Actually, it's mainly just, like, skirmishers left, right? Actually... I might be able to just win that outright then. Because yeah, you guys just keep pushing this way. Cav, you're almost done with the archers. Once you're done with the archers, I think I will make my way to the city center. Or I, I don't even think I need to. No, I can, if I go up this way, if I go up and around, hit this section, those are all just skirmishers. They'll break. Guns are trying to get up there. Infantry. Yeah, focus on the Jones bodyguard. Cavalry. Yeah, go around this way. Over here. Whoever's turning around, that's the wrong way. Go around this way. So we want to hit the archers. There you go. Yeah, push on in there. Hit them from the backside. Just like that. And I think... I'm going to do a good amount of damage. Yep. There we go. Most of them are now breaking. Some of them are still fighting. 80 guys left. Somehow still fighting. Just these guys now. Yeah, just those guys. So, finish off this one unit. And there you go. A little bit more bloody than I would have wanted it to be. But, as long as... Okay, you might have died. Uh, I'm gonna hope you didn't. I think he may have gotten away. It didn't say a unit was completely destroyed. So, they had about 400 guys left. I lost about, yeah, 600 guys overall. But, hey, now we have another settlement for the Empire. And uh, we just have to finish off the remnants of their army, which at least... The Fist of the Father, uh, that was the one that was inside. The other army, I know for sure I got a lot of damage in on. So I don't... Yeah, no, it looks like didn't, we didn't lose the unit. Hell yeah. So let's occupy that. And he did survive with just himself. Actually, I have enough movement to finish them off this turn. Because you guys can go over here. So let's bring my faction leader over. Bring you over. Just balance. You should be fine. Yeah, three casualties. There you go. So now we'll just go back towards Genoa. And then uh, you'll take a little bit of attrition this turn. But hey, that guarantees that they are now actually destroyed. So now we're not going to have to worry about them for the most part. And we'll start trying to get ready to see what we can do against um, Austria. Let's see. Enemies in high places. So we can get plus six control for that. I'll take it. Yeah, do whatever it takes. Uh, Bounce power will go up again a little bit. Bloody revenge. What? Thomas Lascaris? Who is that? 
Oh my fuck, who, god damn it. Who did I just lose? Oh god, I don't know who I just lost there. Uh, oh, multiple people just died. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, got, gotta love that. Um, yeah, so we have a food shortage over here. Oh, I forgot to actually do the build stuff with you guys. Um, try and repair it. Just convert that. This we want to keep. This we want to repair. Get rid of this, 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 and that. Um, that I need to make my way back over to Genoa. Again, they don't need me over here, but just go over there for some recovery. Um, so try and do that. I got some consumption. Kaffa, that's fine. We don't have anybody over there. And then for right now... I do not see a lot around here. Also, how is that army doing over here? You guys almost done? You are done. Okay, so now I can bring you guys up around here. Let's wait until this army gets over, and then I can have you guys help out with the stuff around uh, with Austria. So get that armor upgrade for you. Start making your way over to Graz. It'll take you a couple turns to get over there, but once you're there, we can start that assault. Um, maxed out. That's all three. You guys have just enough food that I should be fine to upgrade that, I think. That's all maxed out. Genoa. Need to upgrade this. And then I think for you guys, we'll hold off on upgrading this stuff right now. I want to have it so that uh, we're going to upgrade this level four once we can. Um, Red Sea thing. This, I wanted to get the palace. This is already maxed out. That's level three. I have plenty of food in this area. So you can definitely grab that. And then you keep upgrading this to be the training grounds. Alrighty, let's see. So, now, demolition stuff. Let's go back over there, because I know now you guys... I still need to... Let's see, get rid of this. Convert this. And then keep getting rid of this stuff. And then I'll start getting the aqueduct first. Upgrade this, because that'll probably get most of our food needs uh, met there. Butcher's Guild, that's maxed out. Verona, we can upgrade that once again. Wheat Farm in Granada. I think we'll leave that at level 3 for right now. Maxed out. This is level 3. We definitely can upgrade this to level 4, I know for sure. So grab that. We're going to leave that as it is for right now. You keep getting me the training grounds. This can upgrade into Lido. And you guys should be pretty happy without them. Yes, you are. Because the more armies I can get ready without needing to have my armies watch over them, the better. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want to try and see right now. I need to remember to try and deploy you guys. So deploy there, there. And then you guys also around here. Because then these areas should be pretty good, honestly. Like, I can now start moving these armies up. So we'll start trying to make you guys move on up this way. Same with you as well. And we'll figure out where we're going to send you guys eventually once we have everything in position. I know right now you should be making your way over here to Venice. Get closer to Vienna. And then we're just waiting on that one other army where they are right here. So yeah, you'll be here in at least about two turns. Then we can start the assault on Vienna. Alrighty, let's see. So, another death and another causes. It's okay. Let's see, Genoa. I do appreciate how quickly these areas uh, uh, be, are uh, happy when we start conquering them from other Catholic factions. I love it. So, get that. Demolish this stuff here. And then I'm going to want to try and get... So, we do need some food. But then also I want to start trying to get some public order buildings. So start trying to do that. And then that is it for you guys. And basically this is actually going to work out perfectly with the timing. So right now this army is almost here. But it's currently the winter. So you guys are currently just taking some attrition here. Your armies aren't that crazy. Honestly I'm going to see if like I can also basically just bully them. So that I can get them to kind of back away from this area. And then once we do that, we can have... So if they stay around here like this, at the moment, none of these guys are fortified, so they'd actually run away as soon as they try to attack. Alrighty, we got a population surplus once again in Andalusia. Uh, oh my god. Um, so you guys now, uh, you do have a deep bit of food. I'm going to grab you guys... You can find a food right now, so let's get you more public order. So that way I can try and actually get you uh, maybe the palace around here. Um, let's see, this is level 3 around Verona. You guys have plenty of food, so you can upgrade that. That's maxed out. Granada. I think I'll leave you guys as you are. Because I don't want to have you guys get too much. Um, that's maxed out. This is level 2. I don't know if we have enough to upgrade it again, though. We do not. Maxed out. This we need to upgrade as well. 
fields. This one we definitely need to turn into, um, so we'll get the wheat fields, demolish this, then let's try and keep getting more, uh, public order stuff around here. And then that is all for you guys. Now, however, let's see. Oh my god, thank you. So they moved all those guys away. Oh, and, ooh. So what's the garrison look like? Garrison's not crazy. At your command. I think you, my good sir, can do this for me. Because let's see, everybody else is like, yeah. Well, you are almost close enough. Kind of want to have you do some good, some good fights, honestly. Yeah, let's do this. Let's have you be the one that assaults. Let's attack this guy here. And then, for the most part, his reinforcements should be coming from the southeast. So, I'm going to attack Austria. Push on in here. Like This way, I'll be able to guarantee lure you guys out. Took attrition moving over. Not the best. That should be okay, though. Seeing as how most of this... They have one cab unit. They have two. Two cab units, technically. So, let's push on in here. Take these guys and uh, damage them as much as we can. Then I will possibly have to have this army turn back around and get some replenishment before we properly assault. Because I have to kill, like, everything. But yeah, so I expect the reinforcements to kind of be... It's like mainly here. Here and here. So like this force here, I'm just going to ignore. I'm going to kill the garrison and the Pope's will. Slaughter those guys. Then we'll deal with the rest of the army. Because if you guys walk out of your fort, sure, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Because for the most part right now, we just want to focus on the easy kills of trying to... Because if I can take out the entire garrison and the reinforcements... No, just mainly just the garrison. Um, let's wait a little bit. Wait, is it still winter? What the hell? I thought it wasn't winter anymore. Oh, can I please get rid of that? Oh, still got snow. Okay, so we're going to go over here. So again, I think their main force is going to be kind of over here. So I'm going to have all of you guys over here. Um, archers, you're fine as you are. You guys kind of adjust so I can have some fine lines. There, there. Just like maybe like three gaps, basically. There, there, there. Okay, so you can get lined up here. You can get lined up here. And then you can get lined up here. You guys are there. Greek fire over the side. And then all of my cavalry I'll have kind of over here in case like they're further along this side. So now, where are the reinforcements? I may have gone too far down. Yep, I did. Enemy reinforcement. The enemy has been sighted. So I went too far down south. So let's get you guys to try and run up here. And then I'll have my infantry also start trying to make your way up this way too. Alrighty, so let's single out the general while he's isolated and alone. So you can try and do that. The rest of my forces are getting in position. Hey, you guys get around here. Surround him. General, try and scream at him. And this also just raises melee defense. So let's do that. Infantry and everybody else is still getting into position. So you guys just keep trying to go here. Guns. I'm going to actually have you guys kind of go more back here. Kind of. Archers just about here. Greek fire. I don't know if I'm actually going to need you all that much. But there, that general of theirs is almost dead. So finish him off. There we go. Let's kind of go up around the top side here. Because so I want you guys to commit to the fight against me. So I'm going to try and go up and around and try and eat your skirmishers. Some of my infantry is almost in position. Try and start getting melee with them if you can. So you guys go here. You guys go here. Hoping you guys won't run into the fort. If you run into the fort, that's going to be a bit of a problem. It's not exactly what we want. We got some cav over here. Because we've already done... Still the numbers, but about a thousand guys. So let's have two of you. Three of you go over this way. Two of you. Further around this way. And they're just going towards the fort. Can you not? Okay, I'm going to start hitting some of you guys if you're going to go towards the fort. Of some of my cav, stay back here. Start trying to focus on their skirmishers. So it's already starting to take some good damage. My archers should start trying to open up on them. But yeah, I do not want you guys to really just make your way towards the city, or so towards the fort. So start charging these guys, because I want you to engage me outside. That guy's broken. Okay, so one of you go over there. 
two of you go up this way, loop back around, or actually one of you go over this way, because then I want to hit these guys. Get the cav. Are these guys going to brace? Uh, yeah, they're going to brace, but you get a decent charge still. Yeah, still a good amount of damage. Actually, you're still going to break that unit. Yeah, scream at them as well, and then you'll be okay. Shatter that guy. Okay, I'm going to pull back. I don't want to fully shatter him right now. I want to not focus on that too much. Skirmishers. Skirmishers. So I need you to help out my cab, who is about to be flanked. So you guys are right there. Keep making your way over this way. Same with all of you. You can focus on these guys. Archers over here. Uh, these guys are winning there. You're taking some damage. Try and get my guys to help out over there. So yeah, charge right here with my general. This is like one of my best units, so you're holding them nicely. So keep just holding them at bay. Gonna get a good charge in on this unit. Um, that did not do as much damage as I would have liked. Let's get you guys some melee defense bonuses there. Uh, I need to get you out of there. Yeah, pull back, guys. Pull back. You guys need to back up, too. Okay, let's get back over here. Pull you guys back for right now. Number-wise, I mean, we almost outnumbered them. We're, we're, very, we're very close. Yeah, they're starting to now get over here. Let's see. You guys can keep moving forward. This guy need to hit here to help finish that unit off. Focus on skirmishers for right now. So focus on those guys. Ah, uh, you... I don't want you to charge here. I try and pull back there. I need to get my... Honestly, I need to get my Greek fire over here. Try and hit that spot. You guys will be able to easily take out this unit in a second. Go. Let's now get back and try and hit this guy. Because you broke them there. So it's this cab unit. Again, go over here. Uh, hey, Greek fire, you want to do something? You guys pull back. It's been a while since I've used my Greek fire, so please, open fire. There we go. Yeah, pull out your actual weapons there. <laughs> Make them nice and toasty, please. So yeah, focus on them. All my cav. I'm trying to focus on this guy. You kind of go back around. Number wise, let's see. So we now outnumber them just barely. Uh, infantry. This way. Go to spearmen. Big fire, if you would so kindly. There's a nice big blob here for you. So, you guys should focus on that blob. That'll easily destroy it. And then the rest of my cav. Uh, oh, you are not supposed to be fighting them. Come on. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Guns. Uh, I think I forgot to move you guys forward. Okay, get my axes over there. General should be fine. Yeah, no one else is in that blob, so he's safe. So, kind of pull back over here. Let's try and get all of my cab to group up. You guys now shattered. Barely any damage to my infantry there in collateral. So let's just try and go hit you guys. Archers, yeah, focus on the spearmen. And now, uh, I've basically taken no damage on my infantry. It's mainly just my cab. Uh, now I need to start trying to make my way in to start pushing into you guys. So I'll have spearmen make your way over here. And then I'll have my guys here kind of go around the side. Archers. That guy's not dying, so out like, uh, guns, you should definitely get over here and try and help out. Alright, we're now assaulting the fort. Infantry's making their way on in here. They're bringing their cab to help out against my spearmen, which is probably not the best idea. Um, I do wonder, hey, Greek fire, I know in the past you've been able to accidentally start these things on the fire. Can you do that on purpose this time? Or maybe I can just get you an angle. Actually, if you go around this way, I can probably just get a good angle to just shoot into this. That's for right now. Infantry, you're in here. This unit's almost here. It's going to take a while for my skirmishers to get over here as well. There we go. Now I'm in position to start flanking. So you guys uh, get a little bit closer. Maybe you take out towers right now, but also try and get in range to shoot people. So if you can, unload into these guys to slowly take out the towers. There you go. Yeah, just start unloading into them. Infantry... Just about done with them there, and I think it's just the generals left. Yep, that's it. So we can actually take him out. Perfect. So yeah, only the, the damage is only really on my cavalry. Everybody else didn't take all that much. So that's not bad. Um, I 
see they have 400 guys left I wonder if I could walk into the city did I do enough damage to the garrison is the question did I do enough damage that I can just walk into the city because if I did that'd be amazing otherwise um, I can probably pull back and uh, let my other army that's in Graz uh, have them be the one that actually goes to focus on taking Vienna for us let's see so yeah the army inside died get the replenishment Advance. Garrison. Ah, oh, they still have the... Wait, do they, does it matter? No, it doesn't. Vienna's mine. So, now I was able to take Vienna. Uh, I will now start converting you guys. Um, this, we want to have the Duelers Guild. This this is the, this is a sheep farm. I'm actually going to turn that into a dairy farm. Uh, we don't want this. This, we do not want either. This we want, this we do not, this we do not, this do we not, and this we do. Um, and that will be a give it. So there we go. Uh, now all that's left is their armies that are in the mountainside, which actually I could try and do this. So if you go here, you can easily just slaughter these guys. Um, I swear to God, don't kill my calf. Okay, I was about to say, that guy was really low. Um, if you go here, I can just put a fort right here, and they can't get past you. And then I can have, um, well, this army can't do anything for right now. You're stuck there. But the other army I have here, oh, you have enough movement for this. Oh, hell yeah. Just barely. <laughs> so I'm trapping their entire military in the Alps. And uh, if they want to try and get through, they have to push into one of these armies. <laughs> So, um, have fun, guys. You were trapped in the Alps now. And, uh, that is perfect, I'd say. Also, I do want to check and see. So, you are able to rank up again. You're almost to the legend thing yourself here. But actually, so, I want to look around because I do love the fact that this actually showcases, um, how many battles each army has won. Uh, I know this army I've used a lot with my faction leader, and I know there's another one that I've kind of been alternating between. Um, I think this is the original one, though, maybe? But I just want to kind of see, like, how many battles every uh, army has won. Because this one's at 12, 7, 16, 35. So I've used the Swords of Christ quite a bit. The Blades have used 40 times. Um, that's only battles won, too, so, like, that's not all battles they've been in. Um, 57 in the Just Conquerors. I think this was my original General's Bodyguard, the General Army. I think it was. Because this one I put a lot of stuff in. Um... 27. That's a character, character, character. Um, 28 for the Walkers of the Way. 11. 12. Um, and then you have 17. 14. This is one of my spies. Um, 15 for the Fury of the Righteous. So I still think it is... Um, I think it's the army that had, that was... Yeah, that we're just back around here now. But yeah, I just find, I find that cool, just taking into consideration that it tells me how many uh, battles each army's won. Which, that's one of the things, like, I really like about Come the um, army tradition system from Attila. There are other things from original Attila that I don't like, but that's what I actually do. Dutch of Lorraine's already dead. Wow, that was fast. Yep, like I said, I, I kind of sworn that you guys were not going to survive, given the fact that you were also at war with England. So yeah, they're now out of the way. Uh, Nubia here. You guys need a little bit more public order. Um, you do have plenty of food, so we're probably just going to grab you guys a palace around here, since we do not have one yet. So let's have you guys grab that. Um, then, the bride. Yeah, uh, I'll definitely take them. Just failure. So we didn't fail assassinate that person. That's fine. Um, back in Vienna now, so we need to continue demolishing this stuff. There, 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 there. So you guys are currently just raiding the area. <laughs> it's going to have a rebellion. But you guys are taking attrition here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep moving forward. I'm just going to have it so you guys are going to get even uh, stuck even more here. So, like, yeah, just go like, right there. Country, so they just don't have much space. Like, I can... Yeah, you guys can raid it if you want for a bit. That's going to be fine. Because I think for right now, all we need to really do is just have it so you guys just sit there. Yeah, there'll be a rebellion, but I have a... I've been able to recover now. That'll be okay. Uh, then... You finally just finished your thing there. Okay, so this one you have the Jewelers Guild. Keep on bringing this. And I'm not able to get another one of these just yet, so we'll have to hold off on that for right now. Building-wise, though, that's maxed out, maxed out. Uh, that's maxed out. That we already upgraded. That we are already upgrading. 
and then this can upgrade as well. All right. Oh fuck, Serbia! What are you doing? <laughs> oh god. Um. Mm hmm. Yeah, Serbia is starting the war without me. Um. Okay. Uh, let's get some more public order built uh, over here. Yeah. No, Serbia. Oh fuck! You're just starting the war now. Like, oh, I'm tempted to join in now. Like, you guys are about to take this out. Honestly, because of that, we can almost join in before we are actually finished taking everybody out. I'm tempted. Um, very, very tempted. I need to at least keep building up the stuff that I have right now. So let's do that. You guys here, we already have the two food things, so we need to see more public order buildings. Although, actually... I'm going to keep the mustard grounds. I, I, I think I will keep the mustard grounds actually around here, I think. Let's keep that around here. Um, yeah, because then we'll be able to possibly have the units around here too. But I think then you guys will probably want some of the more public order. So, do that. That's all the stuff for Vienna. Legitimate birth. Building constructed, so it's maxed out, maxed out. Seville. God, I'm just way tempted. I'm way too tempted to just start the war with... Uh, England now. Like, I wanted to have it so that I would first take out the Pope first. And then also have it so that we take out all the other minor factions first and, like, cons uh, annex Serbia. But if Serbia is helping me, it's gonna be easier. I'm, I'm gonna make, like, no money if I do this. I will absolutely make no money if I do this. I am leaning towards doing it, though simply because of the fact it will make it far more oh, actually you need to get the this one first um it'll make it easier to take out england it just straight up will because that doubles the amount of armies that will be fighting england and it's not just me and i'm gonna get all the land from them anyways um let's do it also, we, we it might be like at the very end of today is basically when we have everything ready. Um, I'm gonna send so you and where is he? Where's where's my boy? Where's the will of God? You're coming along. Yep, you're coming along. So the will of God and that other army, you guys are gonna be going over to try and take Rome, um, and then I'll have it so where'd that other army go. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, you are. Don't, don't do that. Don't do it that way. Like, sail over here. Um, so you two are going to do that. I'm going to get everybody else in position for the start of the war against England. So, you're at minus nine. Um, these areas are actually pretty okay. I think I can send you over here to help with Granada. Yeah, I don't necessarily need that guy around there. That helps out quite a bit. And that's not even with you deployed. I think you can move too, actually. Yeah, it's at plus four. Yeah, no, you guys should be fine. This is at still plus fucking 20. So I am going to move you guys up this way too to help convert this stuff. So you go there, you go there. Um, I'm going to trust you guys are fine, not having to worry about this. I'm going to have you be the one that sets sail up here because I know this territory is um, as a coast. So you go there. You have a cannon, so you go here. You do not have a cannon. You do not have a cannon. You do not have a cannon. Um, you do have a cannon. So I'll have... You go here. You are going to go... Okay, so I've got one, two. I've got three accounted for. I can have it so... We don't need cannons. We can have it so, like, you go here. You'll try and go for uh, Braca. You'll try and go for Leon, so I'll have you two go up here. Um, you're making your way over there. You can be around Zaragoza. And then you can try and go for... Probably want to go here to do that, to get to Pamplona. That should then be every city in England accounted for. Um, I'm just going to scout to make sure that these territories are okay and they don't have anybody around here if they have nobody in these territories i can easily take them they actually have a rebellion over here right now um so that way we can do that Let's see here moving there uh you where do i want you i think you you should go here yeah because this has a coast uh you need to stay around here to watch over this territory anyways so you're fine um and just 
like, hey, we just need to get everybody in position and then just hit Rome. Once I take Rome, that's when I decided to I just push on into England. And uh, I'm going to keep just letting you guys starve to death in the Alps right now because you can't fucking touch me. I should probably stop my trade now. They don't like my gifts given to Serbia. They're going to start hating me no matter what I do anyways. So... 55 grand. Oh, God. How many turns do I have for the Serbia stuff? I can't see it for right now for some reason. I think it's like 28 turns. 25. Yeah, no. Work together with Serbia to take out as much land of England in the next 25 turns. And then I annex them at the very end, which is going to be interesting. Guys, just, just, just give me a second. I'm, I'm going to in a second. Um, you guys even joined in too? Yeah, you did. Yeah, with multiple of my faction allies going against uh, England, I, I have to jump in. I just need a few turns. I just need a few turns to get everybody in position, and then I will also be joining in against the forces of England. Because this is going to be interesting. This will be very interesting to see how this is going to go. Technically, I don't want those guys, actually, that just talked to me to take too much land from them. Uh, Serbia, I don't care. Any of the land Serbia takes, good. Fair game. That's fine. But just not you guys. Unless it's going to be land I don't want anyways. So, for right now, uh, regional raiding. Yep, I know. You guys are raiding so much around here. But that's fine. You're just slowly starving to death. And uh, once the winter's over, I'll probably get rid of you guys. Because I can just keep building this stuff up. Um, I need... Yeah, I'm going to get this again. So, get this. Mercenary Barracks in Verona. There we go. And then you guys need to get a palace around here. You have enough food to definitely upgrade it a couple times. This we can definitely upgrade. Upgrade this. And then I would say... Um, we have one thing of food. I don't think... Well, we have to hold off until these finish. That's level 3. We already upgraded that. Toledo needs to upgrade their thing as well. And then I already upgraded that. But yeah, so you are the one that's coming on over here. I, I need several turns until we're in position. Because several of you guys are getting over here. You, if you're just going to be like chilling around here. You guys are going to be getting over here to, to be able to fight against Rome. Rome will probably be like the main fight we actually do. And then like almost all these fights will just basically auto-resolve them. Because we can get most of you guys into position to just be able to just immediately destroy these guys. So, um, I'm gonna put something over here. I think I messed it up, so yeah. So, you'll be around here, you'll be around here, you'll be. Oh no, I was gonna have you go for the city. So, you actually should go further north. Um, I can also have you go for Bordeaux. Might have you go for Bordeaux. Or Toulouse, I mean. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter where I send you, honestly. By imminent and yep, I know, or it's fine, we're gonna deal with it. Okay, so the warriors divine justice just lost their general. Um let's see, this is just kind of more loyalty, I'm gonna take you. Yeah, it's not that bad. Let's see what else you have loyalty. Oh, he's a really loyal person. Yeah, let's grab you. So you'll be the one um that is gonna be taking over control of that. Let's see construct a building. Yep, I'm already doing that. Uh did they start Oh no, that's a different thing. Um, but no, still, I would say at this point in time, I now want to finish you guys off. So you get a little bit closer. And then I'll have you leave the assault here. Hello! Yep, they've taken out half of their army in attrition, and I'm just going to slaughter you guys with an auto resolve. And then, oh, God damn it, game! Have lost that guy. Advance. That's fine. It's fine. It's Ready fine. For battle. I'm gonna just Come send on. you back all the way to fucking my capital again because it's the only place I can recruit them from. So start making your way all the way back there. Journey. You'll be able to start getting some uh, punishment on the way back. And then all these armies can be in uh, range to start getting everything ready up around here to go after them. So for right now. Where I border them. Yeah, we want to go like towards like Frankfurt or Nancy. 
Actually, I can probably get away with ignoring up around here and actually trying to focus more of my attack, my forces down this way. So if you guys... Oh yeah, because like England's actually going after Burn. Ooh, yeah, so let's go down here. Uh, one of you needs to get rid of this rebel, though, <laughs> before I forget, because uh, I still don't have walls around Vienna, so let's have you do that. So you can get rid of these guys. So there you go. Replenish, and then I'll have you sit in Vienna. You'll watch over the city. And then I just need to again send you back. Because it won't let me recruit those units anywhere else besides like around my capital. So I'll just have to send you back to Constantinople. Hopefully you guys don't lose burn. You might. It's only one army. And like I'm getting in position. I just want to hit. Like I don't ha have to hit the forces of the Pope first. Like, I just kind of want to. I was like, you're almost here. You're almost there. My people just went with one army. Like, if I just get a little bit more time. I'm gonna hope they just starve out burn. That's my hope. And then, did I have anything to build? We have population surplus, so I've got, like, stuff around Damascus and Sinai. So let's have you guys. Uh, you have a little bit of food. I do need to get the glass furnace, though, so that's what we're gonna get around here. You guys then need to get a little bit of growth. I have a bit of food. Um, I can upgrade this stuff if I get more public order. So I will just grab... I'm gonna grab, yeah, because this will just not cost food. So get that, get that, get that, get that. So we'll get a little bit more food around here, get some more public order, and then building constructed. That's a little one over here. You guys need to give it. Wine trader. Definitely uh, upgrade that again. That, that, that. Get another one of these. And then I think that. Can you get one more level, right? Yep, that can get one more level. Joe's Guild is maxed out. That's maxed out. Mustard Ground in Vienna. You need to... Let's see. This we want to turn into the meat market. Oh, technically... Oh, yeah, no. Because this can become the palace. Yeah. Yeah, it will be good. And then just upgrade this as a training ground. I would say right there. Okay, so let's see. So, faction emerges. So, they liberated Burn. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. We'll be able to still deal with it. Um, death and natural causes. Oh, fuck yeah, England's pushed in hard into Serbia. I actually need to get... Mm, okay, I wanted to have it so that I'd be helping uh, taking out Rome before I do that, but honestly, I have to help Serbia. Because they're now being pushed back, which is not what I want. So you go here in Genoa, because I'm going to have to try and have it so... Basically... No, I th fuck, I think we're starting it now. <laughs> this is going to be the biggest war of this fucking campaign. Speak your speech. And my trade? And my non-aggression paint? Oh god, okay, yep, we're starting now. We are starting now. Because everyone's in position. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alrighty, England. Let's go. Let's fucking go. You got, uh, yep, these guys as your vassals. They're unreliable. Let's start a big ass fucking world war. You guys didn't decide to join on in. Okay, you. What the fuck? Why do they have so many English knights in here? Oh god, continue that siege then. Continue that blockade. Everybody else can still do well, because, like, you should be able to easily push in here. Why do they have so many English knights in their cities? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh god, that is not what I want to see. Okay, you should be okay. Yeah, a little, a little bit of damage, but you're fine. Oh, God. If every single one of their cities has, like, that same amount of uh, English fucking uh, cav, that is disgusting. Oh, can I not get there? I cannot get around there. Um, get the fuck out of my way. Get, get out of here. I am taking the city, not you. So get out of my way. That way I can siege the city. Um, continue the siege. We can actually get siege equipment. So get siege equipment there. And then, uh, you do not have enough movement, but you should be okay. You'll be able to get there next turn. And again, they don't have any armies around here, so we should be okay. You should be able to get to Pamplona. Yeah, most of the forces are over to the east, so I will... Again, you should be okay. Some of these armies have way... Cities have way more... i spearmen, but that's okay. It's just a basic spear. A basic spearman is easy for me to get access to. 
Especially since, like, I can just have it so that, like, you... I can just be fine. You should be okay. Yes, the spear as well. So that's probably what we're going to do. I'll probably have it so that uh, next turn, you'll go up here, give this guy a spearman, turn back around, recruit two spearmen for you. Um, over here... This. And you can easily take this one. Don't lose anybody. Occupy that. And then... God. Okay. That's a lot. I still have to take the rest of um, Iberia. It's just like, you guys have a massive fucking garrison. That is such a disgusting garrison. Sergeant Slate. Um, I think I'm gonna... Well, actually, this army... Uh, actually, let me do this. So... I don't know if you have movement for both of this, but I'll have you go up here. Give him a spearman, because he lost a spearman. Then you'll come back down around this way. You'll give this guy a spearman, and then I'll have it so that you can make your way over. Get the spearman here for yourself. Oh, God. You guys aren't happy enough around here just yet. Um, and England's right fucking there. Yeah, you guys, you need to make your way back here. I need to get that one unit of mine. England is trying to go hard into their forces. Um, I'm going to let you guys basically try and assault the stuff. And then if you do... Because I'd actually prefer to try and see if I can get it so that basically we will defend these areas until I have taken Iberia. Because that's the main help. It's like over here. Uh, let me repair all this stuff. Um, that we want to keep, right? Yep, we want to keep that. This we do not. Because if anything at all, this is going to really hurt the economy of England. We took a lot of land over here. And I'm going to basically... I hope that these areas will recover quickly. So I don't have to stay here for very long to build them up. As long as that happens, I will be okay. Because if anything, I know... My faction is far stronger than theirs. And so we'll be able to try and have it so that we can keep pushing forward. It's just the fact that I'm worried about how much damage they're going to do to Serbia. Like, that's my main concern. It's like, we've got all that. Uh, you as well. That, we want to keep that. 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 We want to keep this. Demolish. I actually think... Um, might keep that. No, demolish it. Oh god, yeah, now this war's gonna start. At least, if anything, like that, all my vassals are gonna start joining on into this too. So, I'm gonna hope that because I'll be working with Serbia and we'll be working together, it'll be easier for us to push back England. But the, 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 the war to end all wars is starting now with this campaign. When I was realizing that I was going to have to like restart this uh, recording for today, I didn't realize, oh shit, I was going to end up actually starting the war with England today. That is not what I was expecting. Let's see, you guys got a military tradition. Let's have you guys get... Um... Yeah, I'm going to get the more melee defense and stuff. So like, grab that. Oh god. Yeah, because that's as much land as I can do. I could technically make it so I, could, I actually do these fights right now. But well, you can't assault this. You can't get here until next turn. You could assault this, but it's just like... I'm going to siege it for right now. Wow. I find that hilarious that you guys are actually offering me a piece immediately. I'm going to wait. Uh, this, this just showcases that I can absolutely bully the shit out of England. So I'm going to wait. I want to make sure... Like, Let's do this. I'm going to take the land around Iberia. And so basically, I'm going to say no for now. I will probably have it so that I still won't accept it by the end of today's video. And so I get to get your guys' opinion on if I should even accept it. It would benefit me to accept it. Because um, you can see, like, they're now trying to now focus on me. Like, they're realizing, oh, shit. Oh, shit. We attacked the... Oh, we attacked Serbia, who is... Uh, under the forces of the Roman Empire. And we thought, oh yeah, we'll be able to take some land from them. They're not going to join on in. Um, no. 
<laughs> you have not seen what I've done to people who decide to attack my vassals. And I can basically have it if I really want to. I can fight them in Iberia, take all their land in Iberia, offer them a ceasefire, and then have it so we consolidate the stuff in Iberia. Then we can have a second wave. It'd basically be us taking, like, taking out England piecemeal. Essentially. And I'm curious what you guys think about that. That is technically probably the easiest way. And if anything at all, it kind of allows us to focus on the idea of, hey, we're rebuilding our empire. We're not just trying to conquer for the sake of conquest. No, we're trying to rebuild our empire. And so we want to make sure that these areas are happy. We do. I'll show you guys ready. Yeah. Or at least making sure I'm doing this fight. Oh, you could miss that. You were missing a spearman right here? Will the god? What? Oh. That's fine. Okay, we'll, we'll get that later. Um, I think I'll still think I can take the or take Rome without an issue. So let's get you this, and then you guys have a bit of food. I can upgrade this, and then get some more border buildings. Um, but yeah, no, you guys are just blockading that area. I don't think you starve them because of that. So we'll need to get more reinforcements. But uh, basically, let's have you go here. Let them tower like start sieging that. Dogs. And then... I'll just remind you, again, get this guy a spearman, and then you go over here, get your, you uh, some more spearmen for yourself. Oh, I actually could have recruited that guy over here. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, I'll have it so that still, actually, does that mean I don't have to go all the way the fucking back there? I might not have to. Nope. They do take up the foreigner population, though. So that is one thing. Um, I'll have it so you do that, and then... Actually, I'm still going to want to, just because of the fact that, like... I'm still going to need the armor. Yeah, I'm, I'm still going to want to go back here. I'm, I'm still going to want to go back here to get those guys, just because of the armor bits. Um, you're level two. You don't have to get enough food for that. Sinai, upgrade that as well. So four, you want to get that upgraded to be a gibbet. This we're probably going to leave at level one. Now we can upgrade that. Also, how are you guys doing? You guys are barely going up in public order. It's about to grow, though, so we will get some more public order in this area. So that'll be good. Um, next out, and this is in Vienna. So upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade that, and then you get the palace. Give it upgrade. Oh, we do not have enough for the give it upgrade. I'll have enough because of the, the for these things. If you're upgrading that, but we can uh, upgrade that up again right now. Um, and just all the stuff I just took here. I'm still gonna have it. So we're gonna do the fight for Rome today. I just want to make sure. Let's see. So this is a military port. So we need to convert this over to a fishing wharf. This we want to have be guild. This we want to be an aqueduct. This we need to get rid of. This needs to be this. You need to be. Um, a court. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Zaragoza. Get that over. Upgrade this. Dismantle these. This needs to be the field. This needs to be the guild house. This needs to be a gibbet. This will be the meat market. Pamplona. Goddamn. Um, that. This field. This. Demolish, demolish. Aqueduct, demolish. Demolish. This be a cattle herd. Uh, and then you guys. I think the, this army, actually, I can probably have you help uh, take Evora. So let's try that. Uh, this. Demolish that. This become a meat market. And then this army got a decent amount of replenishment. Let's bring you over here. You also have your own cannons. So you guys can probably easily take this. Just don't lose them. So you lost a cav and a spearman. And you lost four units of cav. Fuck. Oh, did I just kill the king? Yep, yeah, I just killed the king of England. Oh, God. Okay. Occupy that. Um. Let's do this. So you... So he lost a spearman and a cav unit. So give that over to him. So he'll have his full army. Um, I'll be going here for a second. And then I'll have to have you go grab one cav unit and some spearmen. Actually, can you put those around right here? 
You might be able to in six turns. Otherwise, we can just have it say, like, you go over here. Actually, I can have you, like, switch out. Like, you can go back around this way and maybe give him the troops. Um, but for right now, I think... So that's as much stuff around there. I do... Let me do the building stuff around here. Okay, all that. So that is... Spirits Maker? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we don't need... Uh, this one I'm demolishing, because so that's level two. This one is level four, so I'm going to keep that one. Uh, we can get rid of you... Review, you. Oh my god, they just built literally every military building around there. Okay. Well, let's do this. Hello, Rome. How you doing, guys? It is time to reclaim our birthright. Let's see. Declaring war while having treaties shortly after breaking them is considered an act of treason. I didn't. Do I have treaties with you guys? Oh, I'm trading with you. Be welcome. There we go. Break that. Oh, my trustworthiness is, untr is untrustworthy. Oops. Well, it's fine. Yeah, let's get you up here. Um, so I might try and have it so that yeah, you'll start the siege. Yeah, now it's not saying that. I'm now unreliable. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so the army they've got around here. Those guys have a lot of crossbows. So, I wonder, Let can I... Like dogs. So, you're in the city. I wonder if I can push this army back. He's still in range. You could hit them again, though. That way, this army is absolutely slow. That way, we don't have to worry about nearly as much in the city itself. So, yeah, you should be good. Get the replenishment. And then that army will now be out of range. Yeah, I think that'll be good. So now, the will of God is coming down upon the roll. As we're going to take it. I feel like I'm probably going to have to have it so we just go with the idea of not accepting a peace with England. But also, it'd be very useful to do so. Us having it so... Oh, this is wrong. So, because if we go with the idea of just bullying England, continuously offering them peace every once in a while after, after I blitz their land... That would allow us to make it so we can rebuild our territories. I think I, I do want to lean towards that idea. We're still going to be fighting a lot of them. And it'll still take us, like, I th again, I think we're finishing this by by episode 35 at most, I think. We're not bad lasting until 40 for sure. I'm glad I have the Teutonic uh, thing prepared now for this. Yeah, because now we get to advance. I'm going to have it, so we're probably going to go for here, I'd say. Because we want to have it so that, like... Yeah, we want to be able to uh, have a lot of um, open area for us to be able to assault through. We've got their towers, but I have cannons, so I don't think I care. So we'll have it so infantry back up. I have my guys back up here, guns, and then cannons. So like one of you like right here, one of you is going to be over here. Um, oh, you guys are really close actually. Okay, so you back up just a little bit. Start the battle. And then... I am definitely listening to the speech when we're attacking Rome. I would not presume on Jesus Christ for help today. We will be <laughs> his praise. Good news! Additional forces have arrived! Let us show the world that we are true soldiers. Oh, I forgot to give you Stand guys a I think I forgot to give you guys an order on what you're shooting. The enemy has been spotted! So you should be shooting that. Shoot the towers. And then my reinforcements are all coming over here. I'm going to have you guys uh, try and regroup with us. So try and make your way down here. Just casually walk on over. Um, and we're just going to bring down the walls of Rome. And then once the walls and towers are destroyed, we'll make my way inside. Let's see, I might be able to just hit the tower myself here. Oh my god, it's hard to see. Uh, right about there. That's too high. Let's try that. Oh, it's gonna miss. Damn it. Sometimes when I use the, the manual shots, I actually do better, but... There's one tower. There's one tower. Keep firing. See, so they've all started 150 guys already from that. Uh, they do have a barricade here. 
Let's see. Because if I can just get my cav in and we can go take the final point, we can win the city pretty easily. I'll break that tower. There you go. Now, start trying to break down some wall sections right here because I've got a lot of guys on the walls here. Once you take this tower out, we'll then start trying to get the gates. And after the gates are open, we'll just break down as many wall sections as possible so we have a lot of avenues into the city. And with all of my cav from especially the second army as well, um, I can push my way through. I can push my way through, try and have it so that we can make my way towards the city center. Towers. Already taken out 500 guys. God, I love these bombards so much. Alrighty. I think enough of the walls have been broken down that I'm going to start trying to push on forward. Uh, this one's spear infantry is kind of in the way. I'm going to hold off on bringing my cab in just yet. Uh, I will bring in my spearmen and my swordsmen. Start bringing you guys in this way to start trying to break, uh, start pushing on in through the city. They have already lost about 900 guys. And so we should be able to easily make work of, short work of you guys. Guns kind of get a little closer as well. Cab, get ready, because like I know I want to make my way in here. Also, you try and take out this tower here. Try and take that tower out. I think we've broken enough, broken enough wall sections. I want to get more rid of some more towers. So I'm going to try and see if I can take that tower out and this tower out as well. I only see a lot of skirmishers right now inside. So if we can get in melee with a lot of these guys, I will win the fight, especially since we are bringing the legions of Rome of the Roman Empire upon them. I am kind of sad that I'm not going to be able to have it so... Um, uh, I'm not going to be able to try and... Uh, oh my god, right. I'm not going to be able to form the Roman Empire just yet. I still need to actively um, get the land from Serbia, which is kind of sad. Like the little bits uh, in Italy. So we'll still need to do that. Okay, Cav, I think is now the time. So Cav, make your way over here. Go through this section. You guys can start trying to push on in here. You guys try to push on in here, here, here. You guys as well. Spearmen. Start trying to get in melee here with these guys. There, there, and there. I could also try and get my guns up here, possibly. So if we can push through this section, I can probably put my guns up here to get them to be able to shoot down into the enemy army. Cav! You guys are going to be trying to make your way through here. Push on in through this wall section. You're just going to try and get to the city center. Because at this point in time, number wise, I already outnumber them. And like, you guys are already going to be pushing in rather nicely in through the wall sections here. So you guys will try and make your way in there. Spearman, how are you doing so far? Well, some of you are kind of surrounded. You're doing well enough. I have enough guys. You, again, still need to try and take this tower out. Yeah, that tower is now destroyed. I don't know what else I want to have this... Okay, you guys are not moving in for some reason. Make your way in here. Going this way, going the right way. Don't go in the wrong way. So you're going in the wrong way. Oh my god, guys, stop doing that, you fucking idiots. Okay, you guys went in the right way. So you guys go there. Honestly, my cab even maybe just broke you guys charging in like that. Fuck it, just keep just keep fighting that. As you guys will just keep trying to push on in through here. Number wise. And they're losing a little bit now. Guns, I'm gonna start trying to move you guys up. Because again, I think I can get you guys up here to shoot down onto them. Alrighty, now my guns are in range. You guys can try and take out the couple units that are up on the walls here, so try and finish those guys off. I almost have a section here for you. At least one of you. I'm gonna try and kind of like go here. Yeah, Cav, you guys need to try and get away from those units. Try and hit these spearmen here. And try and go over here, try and see if you can help, you can help break these spearmen. Because I want to try and have it so my swordsmen here will start fighting the uh, spearmen. I can fight those Cav units. I just don't want to fight spearmen like that for long periods of time. I will lose that fight. And honestly, I think I'm actually gonna bring my Cav over here. Because like right now, I'm doing well here. They only have a lot of skirmishes over here and some cav. They don't have a lot of infantry. So we're pushing in nicely with my spearmen. If I can get my cav to help out and kind of flank a little bit more around there, that'll be great. Swordsmen, I'll have you guys be the ones. They're going to keep trying to make your way over here to get into melee with these guys. Guns. You're just really opening up into some of these poor, poor bastards that are on the walls. Alrighty. We've been able to break pretty much all these guys over here. I'm going to put my spear, uh, cav back now. 
Uh, I'm going to bring my swordsmen to try and now take over the role that my Cav were doing over here. And Cav do try and go capture the city center. Because at this point in time right now, I'm taking about half the enemy army overall. And if I can just get to the city center, we can just start having that tick down in our favor. And for the most part, we can avoid fighting most of these guys. Especially because of the fact that we're going to be fighting so many Englishmen. I kind of want to try and see if we can save some men if we possibly can. Yeah, let's try and move my, some of my guns up here. You guys might be able to get some good angles to be able to try and shoot into people from here. So you guys can do that. Cav. Yeah, just run all the way. Jesus, that is far. If you go all the way back here as the capture point. Oh, can you guys not get here? Is there a barricade in the way? Uh, looks like you guys can get over here without issue. No? I see issues going popping up. Okay, I'll have to have you guys, like, yeah, just start flanking these guys. I might have to go this way. Yeah. So I think I have to go through these uh, skirmishers first. Although, honestly, at the rate at which they're dying, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get to the city center before they all just break. Because at this point in time, I have them fully surrounded out the city at the gate here. Uh, I'm trying to push on in. Cav, you finish that one guy off. Keep trying to push on in here. Uh, I'm on my general's bodyguard. You guys kind of keep trying to run on up this way and see if you can get to the city center. Because I'll have my Cav for right now. Just keep pushing forward, getting rid of you guys. I might have you guys get rid of this tower just for the hell of it, honestly. Because they've got less than a thousand guys, and they're rapidly dying now at this point. Yeah, this is where I think it's going to finally finish them off. Because they've got 700 guys left. I'm about to start flanking them with my cab here, where they've got these four units around here. I've got my general's bodyguards making their way towards the city center. So you guys are still trying to make your way up here to capture that, because now you're properly working. And I feel like this is going to be where they're just going to all give up once I take these guys out. Because without these crossbows to survive, I think they're going to hit army losses. Dude, I fucking love to look at this victory point. Because they had one of the captains back here. He's, uh, he's, he's giving up. Uh, there we go. So now, we have Rome. And also, I'm actually curious. Uh, I noticed, uh, with the round Gibraltar, there are wonders that have provide bonuses. And, uh, I wonder if Rome has one. <laughs> I'm curious. Because now, at this point in time, the Papal States will be practically dead. Uh, they have one army left. That's it. That we have to take out. This army needs to get another uh, spearman. Um, I'm trying to remember where I could maybe go grab uh, our upgrades around here. I might have to send these guys back over to like Iberia. Yeah, it's the closest I can do. Because I forgot you guys are missing a, a spearman. Occupy. Ready for battle. Rome is mine once again. So, it does. So, constantly, a constant surveying of pilgrims, um, sometimes high walls, and Catholic Christianity influence plus 20. Okay, so it's going to be hard to get rid of that. Um, but let's repair everything. Let's get this all ready and going, that this is now going to be my city once again. That's great. That's absolutely great. Oh, I just want to keep this again. I want that. The the interest, it's it's so tempting sometimes, but I, I should. I'll repair it because we're going to convert it to something else. But we'll, we'll have to get rid of it. Um, let's see. Do you have enough movement to finish these guys off? Eh. You do, just barely. Okay, so I'll have you guys do that. Also, I think I put an armory in um, Venice? No, I didn't. Okay, I thought I did. Verona doesn't have one. Yeah, because I know I've got one over here. Probably be easiest just to send you guys back to Barcelona. Because I can have it so that, well, these guys can sit in Rome, so I'll have you basically give them a, a spearman back, and then uh, they'll wait. You can go back over to Barcelona, get some recruits, and then we're going to keep pushing into England, it feels like. Because basically, I'll probably have to do like start off the next video with taking these. And at that point, I'm tempted to give England a piece for a time, because I'm, I know they're probably going to accept it. Because like if I look at that right now... With you guys, Speak, if you must. yeah, it's high. It's it's high. They would be so open to a piece right now, so I could do that. Get some time to consolidate this stuff, get in prepare in uh, position to attack again, and just keep taking piece by piece of slowly pushing into England. I'm curious what you guys think, because that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. 
because I, I we're almost done. Honestly, I just need two dairy. I just need to uh, annex you guys, and I can become the Roman Empire now. God, it's almost there. But I'm going to be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts about it in general? But this is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time.